Time for a little twin magic. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, Nikki Bella and Brie Bella, the Bella Twins. The Bella Twins. When it comes to tag teams, it doesn't get any better than beautiful twin sisters, Nikki and Brie. Yeah, two sisters who have had almost parallel success here in WWE, both former women's champions, Divas champion. And what's cool to me, guys, is that despite the long road and long career here in WWE, the Bellas will tell you their bond is stronger than ever. They have their own reality show, Byron's favorite, Total Bellas. How come you guys never come over when I want to watch it? We don't like you. Making her way to the ring from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Natalia! Product of the Hart Family Dungeon carrying on the legacy of the legendary Hart Family in sports entertainment. Natalia always ready to handle things inside the ring. Yeah, the daughter of Jim the Animal Nightheart, the niece of WWE Hall of Famer Brett the Hitman Hart. Got the power of her father and the finesse of her uncle. Maybe the most respected superstar in the entire women's division. Foxy time! And her opponents, first. From Pane Vidra Beach, Florida, Alicia Fox. Hey, Alicia! Alicia! Well, you should have heard what Byron no, was saying quiet, about you earlier quiet, today. Quiet, Michael! I'm getting out of here. Good, thank God. Now the show can get crazy like a fox. Yeah, she's... She's not quite like all your other superstars in WWE. She has some issues. Unpredictable, sure. I'm into that sort of thing. Women's division, I hope you're ready for a fight. Tamina is a scary woman. And her opponents. First, from Pacific Islands, Tamina. That is a scary human being. And her opponents first. From Jersey City, New Jersey, AJ Lee. If you like action, this six man tag team match is for you. You can say that again. We're looking at six of WWE's most exciting superstars all in one match. It doesn't get much more exciting than that. Plenty on the line here in this huge three-on-three -three matchup. What a stomp. Good grief. Oh, my goodness. Crushing it.
This is impressive. Nikki Bell is just waiting for the perfect time to strike. The perfect time to end this match. Ah, right, she gets out of it. She has renewed life now, Michael. In 2016, the New Day found themselves in the middle of a sick and twisted rivalry with the Wyatt family. Things escalated to the point where Bray Wyatt invited the New Day to do battle at the Wyatt family compound. New Day accepted, but what followed was something no one expected or will ever be able to forget. Corey, we've talked about six-man tag matches, and earlier you talked about one that caught the attention of the entire sports entertainment world. The New Day fought for survival amongst the darkness of the Wyatt family compound in a battle where pickaxes and cinder blocks were used as weapons and automobiles were used as battering rams. The New Day versus the Wyatts at the Wyatt family compound was not your traditional six-man tag match, but it showed what can happen when issues between factions can't be resolved through a sanctioned WWE match. I'll tell you what, none of the men who fought in that conflict will ever be the same. There are times during a six-man tag match where the hostility between two teams overflows. The result is complete chaos and all six superstars duke it out inside and many times outside the ring. It's complete and total chaos. But if you're one of the legal competitors in the ring during that time, you must return to the ring before the referee's 10 count or risk being counted out and lose the match for your team. Byron, you talked about the moment in six-man tag matches when all semblance of order breaks down. Many times the two teams are so determined to tear each other apart that they don't pay attention to who the legal person in the ring is or where the referee is in their 10 count. That's a huge mistake. In the throes of battle, superstars lose their composure and what was a six-man tag match breaks down into a pier six brawl. If you don't keep an eye on the referee's count, you could get counted out and be the reason your team loses the match. I can see Byron making that mistake and ruining it for everybody. This might be it! Oh, my! Bella able to avoid damage. Back in from the floor. Watch up. Natalia comes in off the tag. Almost there. Oh, and she makes the tag. And not a moment too soon, Michael. Oh, and she gets floored by that. Yeah, there's no staying on your feet after something like that. Something that is always important in a six-man match is having the ability to perform double-team moves. One of the things that successful six-man teams try and execute are double-team moves and then have the third team member perform a signature or finishing maneuver to deliver maximum impact to an opponent. A spinning leg lariat. Teamwork is always paramount in a six-man tag match. Superstars want to be able to 
have a level of teamwork where two members of the trio perform a double team move and the third member follows that up with a move so their opponent is really down for the count. The key is to deliver the maximum amount of punishment to your opponent in the least amount of time. You have until the referee's count of five. It's not like you have all day in the ring. But if your team of three can deliver that type of offense, your trio will be in good shape. Wow, I'm a little surprised to see this side of Tamina. Oh man, she is rolling now. Oof. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. And it's reversed. Oof. Alicia Fox is such a prima donna. Wow, what a leg sweep. And then, oh! Crushing the knee here. Look at her go. She shows signs of life. She's showing a lot more than that. Natalia's version of the sharpshooter taught to her by her uncle, WWE Hall of Famer Brett Pittman. She might have it. Harsh impact. There it is. Whoa, impressive. You could say that again. I never thought she'd break free from that one. Reed Bella makes the tag. Natalia's certainly learned this business from some of the best. When the Queen of Hearts takes that first step and turns over her opponent, the sharpshooter's locked in, which means it's all over for Natalia's adversary. The sharpshooter is one of the most famous finishing maneuvers in sports entertainment. All it takes is seeing Natalia slap the submission on an opponent to see why. This might be it! Oh, my! And what a reversal from Brie Bella. There are instances when a six-man tag match will feature a team where superstars have not always seen eye to eye or are in the midst of a disagreement. When that's the case, someone on the team must step up and be the voice of reason so the trio can function as a cohesive unit. Boom, what impact! Takes her off her feet. That's how you eliminate somebody's vertical game. Corey, earlier you talked about what needs to happen when members of a six-man team have differences or had differences in the past. If the team can't find a way to get on the same page, they will not last very long. Someone on the team has to step up and make sure for at least that match, everyone on the team can work together. That's easier said than done. Just because superstars might be favorites of the WWE Universe or have a common enemy, that doesn't mean they'll get along. It also doesn't mean that... It... Reed Bella! <laughs> Oh, Paige out of Daniel Bryan's book. Oh, and a running name. That should do it. But now, can Brie Bella capitalize? She goes for the cover. One, two, and an air fall. The size of this girl's heart is simply immeasurable. What an all-star ensemble in the ring right now. Six of WWE's most supreme mode engage. Bree's looking good here. Bree, now that got those shoulders on the mat. Pen's broken up. Ooh, what impact. Natalia in some big trouble here. The resolve this woman is showing right now is absolutely unreal. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. That's how you wear down your opponent. Nikki Bella stumbling some here. 
She's got two very capable partners in her corner. Now might be a good time to bring one of them in. Something that is always important in a six-man match is having the ability to perform double-team moves. One of the things that successful six-man teams try and execute are double-team moves and then have the third team member perform a signature or finishing maneuver to deliver maximum impact to an opponent. Nikki Bella showing some agility. Teamwork is always paramount in a six-man tag match. Superstars want to be able to have a level of teamwork where two members of the trio perform a double team move, and the third member follows that up with a move so their opponent is really down for the count. The key is to deliver the maximum amount of punishment to your opponent in the least amount of time. You have until the referee's count of five. It's not like you have all day in the ring. If your team of three can deliver that type of offense, your trio will be in good shape. Nikki Bella has been part of so many legendary nights, but the 2018 Royal Rumble was a night to remember for a lot of reasons. Yeah, you're right, Michael. It was the first ever 30-woman Royal Rumble match with the winner earning the chance to compete for the women's title at WrestleMania. She's looking good now. We'll see if it lasts. by Alicia Fox. Beautiful technique. With the 2018 Royal Rumble in mind, Nikki Bella made a flashy entrance, but let's be honest, she failed in the end to Asuka. Well, give Nikki some credit, Corey. She hadn't been in the ring since Rumble. Alicia Fox is in position. Nailed it. But is it enough to end it? Just a step quicker, it looks like. She counters before it's too late. And look at hung up by the second. Get in there, ref. Reed Bella gets the tag. There it is. Foxy putting those long legs to good use. This one's over, guys. Alicia Fox is really applying pressure. Will she win it here? Pin's broken up. I can't believe it. And it's Nikki Bella showing some agility. Alicia Fox is such a prima donna. Face crusher. What's this? Ooh. You gotta believe this one's over. Knee drop. by Bree Bella. She's looking good now. We'll see if it lasts. Reverses that one. Natalia in off the tag. Big back drop. Looks like Alicia Fox is feeling the physicality of this contest. This could spell the beginning to the end for her here in the six-man tag team match. You know, when you step into the ring opposite three of the most dominant women on the roster today, things like this are bound to happen. Ah, clean up back suplex. six-man tag match well tag team matches are one thing but make it three on three and it's three times as good take a look I can watch highlights of that one all night long one of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch This entire match was just one big highlight reel, and I didn't expect anything else. Here are your winners, Alicia Fox, Tamina, and AJ Lee. Big win despite absorbing a huge amount of punishment there.
You know, it didn't happen often, but I can attest, being pinned is humiliating. The arena is still buzzing over that great match.